Hello dear students. How are you all? I hope all of you are happy and healthy. So after break, actually not break, after some exams, we are starting our lessons again. So I hope you all remember which unit we were dealing with. That was unit 4 classification. So in this unit, we have discussed about invertebrates, that means the animals without backbones and vertebrates, the animals with backbones. We have already completed two lessons and uh, we have started the third lesson and we have almost completed it and the one, a small portions are remaining. So we will continue our third lesson that is 4.3, vertebrates. So page number 48 to 49. So we have covered page number 48. So please open your textbook. Take page number 49. Learning, learning objective. Learn about vertebrates. So we have discussed that the vertebrates are divided into five major groups. That was fishes, amphibians, reptiles, birds and mammals. Okay. So we have discussed about them, their peculiarities, their important features and everything. Difference between reptiles and amphibians. So we have discussed such things. So today we will start a topic that is unusual mammals. So here we are discussing about mammals. Mammals means the category in which human beings belongs to. Okay, so unusual mammals. Whales are unusual mammals. They have very little hair and their bodies are streamlined. So in this topic, we will discuss some things about whales. We all know that whales, even though it live in water, it, be, it is a mammal. Okay. Sometimes some will get confused it with as a fish, but it is not true. Whales are mammals. Okay. They are exceptional mammals or unusual mammals. They have very little hair and their bodies are streamlined. So we have discussed that the important feature of mammal is that it has hairs, right? So in the case of whales, they have very little hair. Okay. So their bodies are what? Streamlined. But they give birth to live, live young like other mammals. So we know that the peculiarity of mammals is that they don't lay eggs normally. What they do? They give birth to their young ones. So just like that, whales also give birth to their young ones. The newborn calves the newborn calves, calves means the baby whales, are pushed to the surface to take their first breath. They feed on their mother's milk for at least six months. So here you can understand that another important feature of mammals, why the mammals got its name is because of mammary gland which produce milk. That means the important feature of mammal is that it produces milk to feed their baby okay so whales they give birth to their young ones young calves and not only that they feed their young ones with the milk which is produced in the body of mother for at least six months okay so now we will discuss some questions and answers the ninth question in your textbook please read it what is the same about whales and fish so i have told you that some will get confused that Whales are fishes. But no, what are whales? Whales are mammals. Okay. So, what are the similarities? Why are you getting confused that a whale is a fish? Why? What is the similarity between whales and fishes? What are the similarities? The answer is, whales and fish both live in water and have streamlined bodies. Right? Just like that of a fish, their body is streamlined. And not only that, whales as well as fish both live in water. Now, 10th question. Now, list some differences between them. So, now we have to discuss the differences between whales and fishes. Why whales are belonging to mammals and fishes not like that? What are the differences between them? So, answer is, whales have lungs but fish have gills. We know that fishes have gills. Gills are the respiratory organ of fishes. Whereas, for whales, the respiratory organ is what? Lungs as we human beings have. Fish have scales, but whales just have a few hairs. So, we know that fishes have what? Scales. But instead of the scales, whales have one important feature of mammal that is hairs. Fish lay eggs and use external fertilization. Whales use internal fertilization and give birth to young which are fed on milk. So, whales give birth to their young ones and they feed their young ones with the mother's milk. 
but instead of that fishes lay eggs okay fish are cold blooded and whales are warm blooded i hope you all remember this cold blooded and warm blooded cold blooded organisms means those animals or birds which can which cannot control their body temperature which cannot regulate their body temperature they do not have a fixed body temperature their body temperature depend on the temperature of the surrounding whereas warm blooded organisms means those organisms which can regulate their body temperature they have a fixed body temperature and it do not depend on the body temperature of the surrounding okay 11th question what features do whales and humans share so what are the features that whales and human beings we know that whales as well as human beings belong to a category mammals answer whales and humans are both warm blooded have hairs on their skin and give birth to young which are fed on milk so what are the important similarities they are warm blooded both are warm blooded both have hairs on skin and both give birth to young one and both feed their young ones milk with milk okay what do we know about species so here we will discuss what do we know about species there are thousands of books museum displays and web pages about plants and animals yeah that's correct if if you want to know about a plant or any organism it's very easy there are a lot of books web pages museum etc so in 2007 biologists and computer experts began to link this data into a multimedia encyclopedia of life accessed from a single web page so in the year 2007 biologists and computer experts what they did they started to link all the data about almost every species which are known today into a multimedia encyclopedia of life accessed from a single web page okay now we will discuss some other questions so please read question number 12 why is it difficult to find information about some species why is it difficult answer us it is difficult to find information about some species because it is in kept in museums or libraries okay so that is the difficulty question number 13 what are computer experts doing to help so we have just discussed now what the, what are they doing computer experts are making a multimedia or that is encyclopedia of life on the web with information about every species okay 14th question give one reason why biologists want to know about every species on earth so this is something which we all know answer biologists want to know about every species on earth so they can understand how to protect them right so once we so if we want to protect an organism we have to know about them their features what are their habitat what do they like what do they eat and what are their conditions everything we have to know right then only we can protect them that is why biologists want to know so next question question number 15 so this are summing summing up questions so question number 15 say what is special about each group of vertebrates so this is a summary of the whole lesson the whole classification of vertebrates we all know vertebrates are classified into five so we will just read out the answer the five vertebrate groups are fish amphibians reptiles birds and mammals fish have so we will discuss some features fish have gills scales and fins amphibian larvae have gills but the adults have lungs and naked skin so remember about frog reptiles are covered in hard scales so we remember about tortoise snake etc so fish amphibians and reptiles are all called cold blooded you all know that they cannot can regulate their body temperature fish and amphibians use external fertilization so what do that mean it means the fertilization takes place outside the body okay and lay their eggs in water reptiles lay waterproof eggs on land birds and mammals are both warm blooded because they can regulate their body temperature birds have wings and feathers we know birds they have the ability to fly so they have wings and okay wings and lay sh shelled eggs so what is the peculiarity of their eggs their eggs are shelled okay mammals have hairs or fur give birth to young ones and feed them on milk 
so these are some of the important features we have already discussed this so this is just a summary for you okay now another summing up question 16th question young children classify animals as living on land or living in water right so you all have done it when you were small you have classified animals as some the animals which are living on land and the animals which are living in water name two very different vertebrates in each group answer okay so here in this question you just have to give two examples for each those who are living on land or living in water what you have to do is students should name vertebrates from two different groups that could be classified as living on land for example any mammal any reptile any bird okay they should also name animals from two different groups that could be classified as living in water for example any fish and any aquatic mammal also okay so i have given you an example living on land tiger and eagle both look very different both have different features but still they are classified under same group under this classification what you have done when you were small okay living on land now next classification is living in water whale and shark both are living in water but whale is a mammal okay shark belongs to the category fishes so they are entirely different so this classification we cannot tell that the animals are having same features anyways so next question 17th question Porpoises are mammals. They live in the shallow seas around the coast. List the features you would expect them to have. Answer. So, they are mammals means you can simply guess their features, right? Porpoises should be streamlined for swimming and only have a few hairs on their skin. They give birth to their young and feed them on milk. So, these may be the features of porpoises. Now, here I will show you the diagram of porpoises. So, you can see it. They give birth to their young one, they feed their young ones with milk, their body is streamlined, so it helps them for swimming. Okay, so that's all for today. So this lesson is over, 4.3 vertebrates is over. So we will start a new lesson in our next class, 4.4. So hope you all understood this lesson. So just go through the lesson, you may have forgotten it. So just go through the lesson. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you. Take care.